to another Dragon Ball Legends video. Today we officially have the raid boss that strikes and the world challenge raid versus Jiren is currently back. And yeah, you can officially grind your Chrono Crystals from this, as well as Z Power and Slot Removers. And you can use those Slot Removers as we do currently have an Equipment Bonanza going on. So every time you upgrade an equipment, you get a bonus towards it and you may actually get a gold or red slot that can help you get a Z plus equipment. But enough about that, let's look at the raid. So the raid is against full power Jiren and the bonus characters is currently these ones. So I see that Ultra Gogeta Blue is on the bonus list, which is a great thing. Because if you check the news section yesterday in my last video, he wasn't actually there. But let me just see what comes up under bonus. Okay, so I'm not sure why Ultra Gogeta Blue was on that list to be honest because I don't see him here as a bonus character at all. But nevertheless, if you look at the bonus characters, Android 17 gives up to 300%, uh, Extreme 18 250, and then everyone else is about 150%. Now, what I did say was, if you want to still do this, if you don't have the new 17, you can use Android 17, the sparking version of him, or you can also use uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta, since they both do the same amount of damage if you don't have the two bonus characters. So that's exactly what I am going to do because I do not have them. So for me, it would be a waste to actually summon because I don't really main uh, androids. However, if you do main androids, this would be a good time to actually use them as they are currently getting a buffs. So I'm going to use 17 as my bonus character. As for the rest of the characters that's been used, let's just go to rewards and see. Okay, so we got Okay, so yes guys, you can actually use um, Gogeta Blue, Ultra Gogeta Blue as a support character in this case, because he doesn't have a bonus towards him in terms of fighting, but he does have a bonus towards him in terms of getting, um, in terms of getting the raid drops. So yeah, whatever star level you have him on, you can get raid drops. And Bogamo as well, the free Broly, free Zamasu, and Evolution Vegeta. So that's not a bad lineup to be honest. So yeah, let me just start with that. Obviously we'll put Vegeta over there. Since he is the Ultra in this case. It's actually quite unfortunate because I would have loved to use him in these matches. That would have made more sense. Alright, and then the free to play Broly. I just need to find him. Just type it out. So everyone should have the free to play Broly on 14 stars as he, he did have an event for him. And that event actually did help quite a lot. Okay, other than him, I know I saw Golden Freezer there as well and a few others. Okay, let's just check. I know you were there, definitely. Put those guys in. Okay. The 17 probably is in, but I just wanted to double check if there is anyone else. Okay, the Evolution Vegeta would be amazing to have in, so sure, why not? And lastly, I'm not sure if she's there, but let me just double check one more time. Okay, so we got Gogeta. Oh, Bogamo. How could I forget Bogamo, the Lord and Savior? Okay, so, so she is in there, and the last one would be Bogamo, would be here. I'll just get Bogamo on. So, yeah, guys, if you don't have Ultra Gogeta Blue, obviously your red medals will be a bit less than mine's. And yeah, that would be a little bit unfortunate, but you can still do it without him. It just make the grind a bit longer. And I am using the new equipment just to give um, 17 a bit of chance. Obviously, honestly, the equipments don't really matter in the raid. But you know, you might as well just still put it on for the sake of being fancy. So yeah, guys, let's just look at my team. And if you go here to the rewards list, you'll see that I'm getting rewards from Ultra Gogeta Blue. Bogamo, I got the free to play Broly, free to play Zamasu, uh, Evolution Vegeta. I got 17 in the main slot and I got um, 18 as a support. Then I got the three free to play from the anniversary. And actually, I can't use the GT17, so we'll take him out. He can't really be used, and we put 18 in his place. There is another 18 that I saw that can be put there. And it is not red. It's actually the green 18. This one here. So yeah, guys, that is the team. 
So without further ado, you can actually use this team and let's see how much raid points I can get from this and achieve. Now, if you have LF17 and the XTM18, you are going to get most likely double as to what I am about to get. I expect to get at least 60 to 70, which is not a bad amount because if someone has the boost characters, they can get about 20, no, sorry, they can get about 100 to 120 to maybe to 130. So they only have about maybe 40 more, so it's not too bad. If you think about it, it just means you need to grind maybe um, 1.5 more than them. But all right, let's see what we can do against full power Durin over here. Okay. Wow. 17 hits really hard. Only problem I have with him is he does not have the tanking capacity. All right. Let's see. Almost broken. Get some cards. My tag partner has the LF character, but he's playing like a real, real dumbass. Come on, man, get your rush already. I thought 17 had card speed. Nice. Okay, you start it off. You can start it off. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I doubt we'll kill, but who knows? 17 does hit quite hard. That is a perfect. Nice. Okay. So yeah, obviously he's a boost character, so he would do that much damage. And yeah, there it's done. It didn't take us more than a minute and a half, but, but our partner had the LF character. If he didn't, it might have taken a bit longer due to the fact that we don't have the LF or the extreme. But yeah, guys, that's the showcase I wanted to show for the raid and the team that I am using. And look at that. I'm getting 100. And that is not bad, not bad at all. But obviously, Ultra Gogeta Blue is giving me a bit more. If you don't have Ultra Gogeta Blue, then you would get 15 less in terms of the raid medals, which is still not bad. So you're looking at between 85 to 100 without the boost characters. I hope you guys uh, are able to grind this for slot removers and are able to get really good equipments and the Chrono Crystals. Good luck with your summons if you're still summoning, and thank you for watching. As always, please do subscribe and follow if you do enjoy this sort of content. And keep a lookout for my shorts. They are ten they're tending to blow up in a viral way. Have a good day further. Cheers.